Hey, this is Ronnie Go Boom, and today I'm going to show off over 15 different inventions with the new Observer Block in Minecraft 1.11. I got a lot of these amazing inventions from the community, and I invented a lot of these myself. Of course, there are going to be a couple traps, since there's no Trap Tuesday with this week, but this is going to be so much better. Check it out. Today I'm going to show off over 15 different new inventions, some from the community and some that I made myself, all using the new 1.11 Exploration Update Observer Block. I'm going to save the best ones for last, so stick through to the end because there are some amazing things you can do with the new Observer Blocks. We're going to start out right over here with some of the simplest ones. This right here is the world's simplest monostable circuit. We get a one tick pulse with just an observer block. Super easy. T flip flop, also made extremely easy with just a sticky piston and a block of redstone. This is the world's smallest one tick clock. Extremely easy. There's a fantastic YouTuber named Assumavoid who made this 30 blocks per second elevator. All you have to do is walk right into it. It takes you up ridiculously fast. Links on screen to all the YouTuber creators with their tutorials and in the description as well. I followed this brilliant guy named Fenobear on Twitter, and he made this upward double piston extender and a downward version as well. Extremely compact and it's tileable. Mumbo Jumbo's absolutely brilliant. If there's gonna be something discovered with redstone, he's probably gonna be the one to do it. Lots of people have found instant wire with observer blocks before, but Mumbo found the way to do it the most efficiently. A lot of people did it like this until Mumbo came up with this system, which uses the least amount of resources to get instant wire. He also came up with a great system to make it go down vertically and upward as well. Check out his video for the tutorial. This is my modified version of Assumavoid's upward player elevator used for traps and things like that. There, once you're in, there's no way out. It's literally just four of his designs tiled next to each other. And then at the bottom, we have a little half slab for the very first one, which is a step up. It might be a little bit difficult to hide, but the cool part is once you're in, you're kind of stuck. And at the top, you can add something like this piston slime block to knock players off the edge. I found a YouTuber named Waffle from Nowhere. He only has 6,000 subs, but he has some incredible inventions. He found out this instant item transporter. Check this out. Oh, we have to put an item in first. <laughs> Let's grab some Protection 1 diamond chest plate. We'll put it right in that dispenser. Instant. Um, caveat with this, though, it only works north and south for some reason. It doesn't work east and west. That's why I have to have a repeater here. It's almost instant, but it's one tick delay. It also works in this instant upward facing design, which gives us an item waterfall. This is an instant infinite item waterfall. Check out this tutorial for more. As a trap maker, I obviously love this for the ability to turn observer blocks into tileable bud switches. We've never been able to do that before. This particular trap is automatically resetting. It has tileable observer blocks. Um, I don't know if it's the most efficient way to do it, but it works. Leave a comment below if you'd like to see a tutorial of this. You might have noticed that I don't have any redstone leading from the bottom to the top. That's because I used a dispenser to shoot an arrow through these tripwire hooks to trigger this redstone. And this is just a little time delay to leave it down so you suffocate for longer. Here's a little secret bud switch I invented. All you have to do is take off this redstone torch and place it right here. This is the triggered one. And then we have our instant chests. Drop off all of our items. Oh wait, an enemy's coming. Better hide them. <laughs> and they automatically disappear. And they get stored underneath. We want them to come back. All we have to do is grab that torch and do it again. And all the items are right back where we placed them. Redstone for the trigger is extremely simple. It's literally just an observer block right behind where you want to place that torch. All the rest of this redstone gets a little bit complicated, but it simply just alternates between pistons breaking the shulker boxes and dispensers placing them. They are fed back into here with hoppers right underneath, and it's good to go. This is Cortez Reno's wireless redstone with tripwire hook glitch. This might get fixed, but man, this is so cool. Check this out. 42 blocks, including tripwire. There is no string here. There's nothing in here. These blocks are unnecessary. I just counted out the 42 blocks to see how far it was. Here's what it does. 
This right here is just a tripwire hook. It activates the bud if you place one on the other side. Pretty amazing, huh? Cool part is it works 42 blocks. That lamp is off right now. We're just going to place one right here and it's on. It is instant wireless redstone that goes 42 blocks. Amazing find, Cortezarino. I have a feeling this one might get patched, but man, this is really cool. Instant wireless redstone. Ant Venom has a really nice top five observer inventions video. I took a couple of them from there, but I found some much better observer inventions, so I didn't want to just stick to those. And his video shows how all farms are very easily automated now. As soon as this uh, sugar cane starts to grow, it triggers the ones next to it. I didn't do it tileable because I started running into some glitches, um, but it's super easy. Super easy to set these up. There's a guy named Giffy Cat on Reddit that made this observer block wave simulator. It's amazing. He did it with lapis. I think it looks cooler with sand. Just send it once. Makes it really cool. Or you could hook it up to a timer and have it go automatically. Also on Reddit and inspired by Giffy Cat's invention, this guy named T. Rolanu made this mob sweeper. Basically all it does is sweep mobs into a location where you'd like them to go. Check this out. We just turn it on and it'll automatically sweep those mobs almost instantly. Check out how fast this works. It is a little bit noisy, but imagine this in a blaze farm. It's so fast. And onto my invention, imagine a player walking across these carpets. There's a nice little pitfall trap here, but you don't want to dig this entire area out. Instead, you just want to dig a nice little tiny pitfall right here. Um, just one wide, as down as deep as you want, and watch what happens to these creepers when we turn this on. Almost instantly pushed over. And watch how well it works with players. And last but not least is this amazing Rube Goldberg machine made by Dragnaz with some help from a block building team made for Minecraft Pocket Edition. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And check out my channel for more trap videos every week. I do factions, let's plays, new inventions, and trap videos. I'm really excited for the new changes in 1.11 and I have a lot of really neat inventions to show you. Make sure you ring that bell so you're notified when I come out with a new video. I don't post often, but I try to make the best content and the best inventions that I can.